I'll take that. Morning. Quick little product review. Bought this Echo line trimmer or Echo trimmer, straight shaft. It's a PAS 266. I don't know, around 25 cc's. But the reason I bought this one is if you live on a state highway here in Vermont, you're pretty much responsible for the end of your driveway if you live in an area where there's prone to be high grass or brush. The state does not mow the roadsides until probably September. And if you were to call and ask them to remove any brush or trees blocking, obstructing your view, you have to cut it yourself. They don't, they don't do it on request. Well, at least here in District 8. Um, so I needed a heavier weed whacker. I had an Echo Curve Shaft for years, homeowner's model. Worked great for around the house, you know, low grass. But I needed something that would really cut brush. So I picked this one up, and you can change the heads. Uh, Pop-up. He's up in St. Johnsbury Way. He did a review on a steel, but I, I bought this one a year ago. And that's how easy it is to change the heads on this. And you can get... Whoops, I need to take that plastic cup off first. That'll not work well at all. Make sure it's pointed in the right direction. There's a line there that it shows you slide it in, get this little button on the side, turn it so it can release, right there, and you just turn this back and forth, wiggle it around, and it usually drops right in, but I guess I'm not straight enough with it, I usually do it stand, there it goes, no it's above it, well where's the hole, you start right there, my fault. There it goes. See, that's usually the way it goes in. But I wasn't straight when I slid it in. And you tighten up the clamp. And you're good to go. That's the grass blade right there. And you can literally go right out and mow heavy grass right down with it. You don't want to be whacking rocks because you ruin it. You can buy a saw for brush. I don't use that. I you know, I guess it would work if you had light brush. And the other attachment I just picked up last night was this little tiller. I'll put a little footage of using it. I'm quite impressed with this. Um, I seem to be able to grow weeds quite well here. And uh, I was very impressed with this. And it goes on the same way. It goes on quick. It works good. Starts good. Pop up did a review on a steel. And steel is one of the best products out there, no argument here. Echo, the dealer's just down the street. And they're really good. You know, if you need parts, the other one. I don't know about the rest of you, but sometimes rewinding the old style heads would give me fits. I walk in there and they just take it and wind it on pop it together and hand it back because they have a nice day. They, they always were good about that. I never It never failed to run. I gave it to my daughter. They, where they live, it's lawn right to the road so they don't have to worry about high grass. And I bought my wife an electric one to do around the house with. But this one, it, it, it really works well. I'm impressed. Well, that was my product review of that and I certainly would give it multiple thumbs up. And Exit 18, the dealership I bought it from here in Georgia, I, I give them. Yeah, I bought a generator from them. I, um, three weed whackers. When I worked for the town, we had all Echo weed whackers that we used around guardrails and brushwork. No complaint at all. We had brush saw from them. They, they really took care of us. They really would go out and take care of their customers. Thanks for watching.